I have now lost four of my children in military. Mother of Lieutenant Colonel A.H. Ali, who was assassinated in Delta. The mother of the commanding officer of the 181 Amphibious Battalion, late Lieutenant Colonel A.H. Ali, who was tragically assassinated alongside two majors, one captain and 12 soldiers in Ukwama, who gave the South Local Government of Delta State last week, has shared her awful experience following the latest event. News report that the slain officers and soldiers were members of the battalion stationed in the Bomadi local government area of the state. They were, however, ambushed and murdered by some heavily armed terrorists in the state last week, a development that raised concerns in the country. When the family of the, left, of the late Lieutenant Colonel Ali was visited by journalists on Sunday, his mother, Hassana Hassan, lamented that that she has now lost four of her children in tragic situations. According to the deceased mother, Ali was the main provider for the family. Conversing with journalists in the living room, her parents lost in contemplation as she recalled past challenges. Hassan mentioned that mere words could not capture the depth of her emotions following the loss of her firstborn son, Ali. He's one of my favorite children. As the eldest, he did not want to see me angry. He had never done anything to wrong me. I know him to be very loyal, easygoing, and truthful in his dealings. He often asks for permission just to come and see me and go back to his place of work. I do not know what to do. His death is bitter in my heart, but God knows the best. The last time he came to see me was just two weeks ago. He said he was sorry he could not secure permission to come see me until that day. He brought me food stuff and other things to use for the fasting period and returned back to work. When I was in the hospital, I requested some money from him to settle the medical bills. He has sent it to me. Unfortunately, before we were discharged from the hospital, his brother came and said my attention was needed and that al Ali wanted to see me. I left to see him and he broke the news to me. Honestly, it is devastating because he is now the fourth one I lost. I have nothing to say, but God is watching. He was very good to me. I lack nothing from him. I have nothing to tell them, but God is watching everyone. He will judge on the final day, she told Daily Trust. The bereaved mother recalls a tragic incident where Ali's younger brother, who served as an officer in the Nigerian army, lost his life to suspected bandit during an ambush in Castina State a few years back while on duty. His brother, Captain Jamil Ali Hassan, also paid the Supreme Prize in 2019 in Castina State. His colleagues told me they were helpless, so they allowed him to be assassinated in a manner that no one could wish, even his enemy, Hassan, Hassan lamented. She went on to describe how her daughter, who was married to a military man as well, tragically passed away with her husband and his brother in a car accident during the fasting period several years back. The mother said they came here during fast like these to greet us, but they were involved in an accident on the way back. She had escaped, but in trying to rescue her husband and his brother, she was caught by the fire, and that was how she also died. Hazan, Hazan further mentioned that her late husband, who peacefully passed away after retiring from active duty, was the fourth military personnel she had lost. I do not know what to do. I am speechless. But if anybody has a hand in this, God is watching and it will judge accordingly, she said. My children will never join the military, late Ali's wife declares. When visiting journalists, when journalists visited the home of the deceased Lieutenant Colonel Ali, his wife, and six children were also grieving heavily. In a response to journalists, the late Lieutenant Colonel Ali's wife, Hawa, declared that none of her children would join the military. Hawa, who could only nod sadly as tears continued to stream down her face, told newsmen that she had been married to the late Lieutenant Colonel for 16 years and they had four sons and two daughters. News understand that Hawa's mother has been the spouse of a once formidable military officer. Surrounded by her two sons and a daughter, Hawa tearfully said, What cannot describe him because he was everything to us. He was a man of his word, dedicated to both his family and work. 
Apart from his family, he sacrificed his life for Nigeria, and that is the price he has paid. I pray that wherever he is, God will continue to be with him. His dedication to humanity is one thing I will always remember. No matter how he was, once he was called to work, he would make sure he fulfills it. Ask if she would allow some of her children to join the military in future, she said. I will not advise any of his children to be in the military. Their father has already sacrificed his life for the country. We know that death is inevitable. As Muslims, we have to die at some point in time, but I'm really shattered by the way my husband was assassinated, was murdered. He called me that very day and told me he was going on a peace mission. I never knew that it was the last time we would speak. Nobody would call to tell me the news until Saturday. I was called from the state house. Wow. In fact, I know fit, I know fit, sincerely. Hi. I know fit, I beg. Mama, the mother lost her son. One person. One person's departure from this world creates a lot of vacuum. The mother lost her first son. Whom, you know how first son, you know the bond with the mother. You know how it be. In Anuna, no man, no, I can't be first to be saying head even with theirs. The kind of bond they will share is as in. Then he also have the bond with his wife and his children. I'm on this one, this one, this one enter. Now imagine each of those people now. Each of those 17 people that was actually, their life was cut short. Eh? The Nigerian military should look into this and make sure they get the people who actually carried out this act. That is my own. May they not pick people with the innocent. May they pick the people who be saved, then do them. So that if they punish them, eh? at least it would be very, very justifiable. And this is what they like, may they do them. I tell you. Anything with they like, may they do those people will be saved and them do them. And no go care. Any, in any manner they like, may they judge them. You know, concern me. But this thing that he did is wrong. And I'm going to put, this is actually how all people who have been slain in that particular issue, both where the boat on the side of officers and also on the side of, this is people will be saying they're innocent too. That is exactly how they will feel. Breadwinner of the family for my mama's side, breadwinner of the family for a wife's side. Sincerely, no, they okay. This news, eh? <laughs> Remember tears they drop from my eyes from this narration. We go continue to grant both families consolation. Hmm? Good families consolation. Just like they said, death is in inevitable. Death is inevitable. But this way that these people died. Ah, no, no, no. I know advice even my worst enemy. We didn't die in such a manner. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, the way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.